everyone, and welcome back to Dying and Romper V3 Killing Harmony Blind. In the lot. Sorry. <laughs> Distracted already. Um, thought I heard someone, uh, uh, something a buzzing, but. Um, <laughs> yeah, anyway. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> Probably just re record this intro, but no, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna do that. It's only been 30 seconds. Uh, well, which I guess would mean it's prime time to just restart, but whatever. Look, in the last one, shit happened, and I'm not sure how much of it I buy. But, um, I mean, the fact that Kokichi just walked in here with some exosols and kidnapped Kaito. I, 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 I'm not gonna lie, it, it's it, it's convincing. Again, I, I'm still not sure I buy it, but it's convincing. Um but, uh Yeah, I it's weird. We don't get this like now. Right? We never get this sort of stuff before chapter six. So like, what are we gonna do? I mean, someone's still gotta die and we've still gotta have chapter six be the big old plot dump. Like, but how? How are we gonna have it be a plot dump? How much of this is gonna be absolute bullshit? Or only part of the truth. Like, I, d I don't know. I genuinely don't know. I mean, either way, I feel like Kokichi is going to be the one to die, though, right? Like, I, I, he's kind of got to be. And then no one really has a motive to murder anyone else at this point. Um,. It's just that the problem there, like, following that is that everyone has a motive to kill Kokichi, because he fucking sucks. So, um... Yeah! Let, let's just... Let's just move on. Samugi, are you okay? She's got a thousand yards stare. It's no use talking to her right now. Mm. Shiba, you good? The Ultimate Academy. The spaceship. And we're the 16 survivors of humanity. This killing game we've been playing. Why pit the remnants of humanity against each other for a world that no longer exists? And the mastermind who engineered all this and is forcing us to participate? Is Kokichi? Oh, oh, I can't! My mind feels like it's about to short circuit. I'll be honest, Kokichi. Kokichi, fuck! No! Oh, sorry, Keebs. Kind of looks like you're already short circuiting, though, based on this portrait. Me too. <laughs> are you okay? Miko, are you okay? Am I okay? How could I be okay? The outside world. Everything is destroyed. Everyone's dead. Everyone at school. Everyone in my neighborhood. They're all dead. C calm down, Himiko. <laughs> what am I supposed to do now? There's no point in living anymore. Yeah, I mean, that, uh, yeah, this is uh, kind of what I expected. Um, where do we go from here? Hmm. 
This is like a worse version of Danganronpa 1's bad end, you know? Quote unquote bad end. Because, I mean, it is a bad end, but like. Or I guess it's not a bad. Well, no, it is a bad end. Well, isn't it an end, though? Because you just pick right back off in Chapter 5 if you do it. So, like. Yay and nay, I, I guess. But still, you know, at least they were somewhat happy in uh, in that world. I can't imagine Hina was, but I, I mean, <laughs> well, the other three were because Toko's also d exploded <laughs> at that point. Um, Maki. Coward. Oh, I know. Oh, okay. Oh, that, oh, that really hurt. Oh. Jesus fucking Christ. It's amazing how, like, two lines of dialogue can just... Oh! Ah! Oh, my heart! And I just don't have the strength. I can't fight back. I can't do it. The whole truth was revealed. A conclusion. This is the end. There is no outside world. We're the only humans left alive. Trying to get outside was pointless. We played the killing game for it. It was all meaningless. That's the conclusion. Oh, nonsense. So, all I had only ever died for then. <laughs> so, this is the despair that Gonta felt. So much despair, you want to die. Really is just like that. If it's like this, it would have been better if I died a lot earlier. Then it's all over now. That's true. This is the end of everything. Our story ends here. There will be no more death, no more killing game. So pointless. Well, I'll be real, this feels like a bad end more than anything. Was I supposed to lose when we're doing the Electro Hammer thing? The truth is... You should have just died a long time ago. Ouch! Oh, fuck! Oh. Okay, well, that's lovely. So we've got three suicidal people now. That's great. Woo, I'm... That's awesome. I love that. That's that's just <laughs> that's real good. That's real good. I uh, love that. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't even remember how I got back to my room. But before I knew it, I felt my body in the bed, numb. Uh, I didn't want to sleep. I just wanted to run away from the despair. But the sleep came anyway. You know, it, is, it has been quite a while since we've got as much um, use of the word despair um, as we're getting now. It was a bit refreshing that uh, I, I see the despair has come back full force. Uh, none of that hope business, though. You know, this is Monokuma, highly inappropriate right now. I don't want this. This. Well, actually, I don't know. The Titanic is... Is a pretty, uh, pretty despairing event, I'd say. So you know what? Maybe it is fitting. Did you know that when you talk to someone on a cell phone, you're not hearing their real voice? Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I feel like everyone knows that, right? Their voice is converted to synthetic sound while you're both communicating. By breaking down their voice into various waveform patterns, the phone reassembles those patterns to recreate characteristics of the speaker's voice. 
This reduces the amount of voice data that needs to be sent to make the call possible. Also, you know how shaved ice has flavored syrups such as strawberry, melon, and lemon? They're all the same flavor. The only difference is the aroma and the food coloring dye. Well, I guess that makes sense. I mean, since your, you know, sense of smell is so closely linked to your sense of taste that if you can't smell, you can't taste. So I guess if, you know, you smell it to be something, it'll taste kind of like that. I guess that makes sense. And hey, I mean, that's better than adding in a lot of, like, fake shit into your food, you know, I guess. Um, not, well, not that they aren't doing that, but I guess it's a little less than usual, maybe? But no, you know what? I didn't know that one, Monokuma. Probably because I don't, I don't think I've ever eaten shaved ice. Do you think these facts are lies? Do you deny that these facts are lies? <laughs> what would the world be like if all lies were denied outright? I bet it would be a very lonesome world. Lies are what makes the world go round. Yeah. I've, I've already done the lies of the glue that holds society together bit, Monokuma. You're a chapter late to that one. <sighs> well, you still got... Ah, oh, right. You're free to pop in for Monokuma Theatre, but yeah, morning announcements. Nah, ain't feeling up to it today. <sighs> or yesterday, I guess. Monokuma must not be here anymore. There's no point to morning announcements now. So, it's really over. There's no point to this killing game anymore. Because there's no reason to go outside. There's no reason to keep living. There's no reason to live. 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 This is an epilogue. All that's left is to take up time. What a boring story. There's nothing I can do anymore. I wonder what everyone else is doing. Um... Well, hopefully they're still alive. I hope that's in, that's not a death announcement. I'd really like for it to not be. Okay, no, it looks like it's the nighttime announcement. I wonder what Kaito is doing. Uh, okay. That's right. I wonder if Kaito is okay. Is he? It's not use. My mind isn't working. And my body... <laughs> Jesus! Good lord! I think this may well be one of the heaviest fucking scenes in this goddamn series. And I've played Ultra Despair Girls, like, Jesus! I already feel for him, though. I mean... Shuichi's never been, like, um, you know, some, well, I don't know about never, but for the longest time, he wasn't really in a positive mental state anyway. So, so this, uh, yeah, uh, oh god. Yeah, I mean, I don't know about Samugi either, but I mean, considering that my suicidal comment was, you know, largely targeted at. Himiko and Shuichi. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, neither of those two have been in great mental states. Um, I mean, thankfully, I, I think Marky's gonna gonna be uh, okay. We, you know, we did her free time events. We know she's uh, she's well adjusted to this sort of breaking. Uh, and I, I I hope Kibo will be okay too. Um. I, yeah, I'm not so sure about Samugi. Again, I, I, I know nothing about her because she's stupid and, and dumb and, and useless. <laughs> I don't know, man. This is just a lot. <laughs> this is a lot. Uh, also, it's, um, it's good to see Junk Monokuma is still getting business as well. You know? <laughs> If you're searching for the meaning of life, you're already doing it wrong. Once again, I, I can't believe I'm agreeing with you, Monokuma. Your life doesn't need a meaning. It just needs a purpose. In other words, you just need something to live for. You can live for spending time with loved ones or chasing dreams. You can even live reading delicious food or playing games. Most people can get by as long as they have something to live for. If you say Danganronpa is your reason to live, now I couldn't be happier. <laughs> it's been a real pleasure doing business with you. Wow, that was that. Wow, I, I actually like 100% agreed with that fucking Monokuma theater. I can't, yeah, um, wow. Although that is a cruel joke to put a meaning of life announce, well, not announcement, theater, um, here of all places <laughs> what a dick but uh, i mean that's why we love quote unquote monokuma right because he's a dick and he loves every second of it Ugh. it's morning how long have i been like this i should get up and i might not ever get up again i I don't care. If I just kill me. What? My body reacted reflexively as I heard the doorbell. Uh, someone surprised that I even managed to get out of bed. I went to the door. Uh, um... Who could it be? Oh god. Oh, Shuichi. I want to say I hope you're okay, but you're really not okay. I was, I mean, I wasn't joking about being suicidal, like, they, they were pretty blatant with it earlier, but, uh, oh, I hate seeing that. I hate seeing my boy so upset. I love him. I don't want to see him go or be in this predicament. On my feet for the first time in a long while, I walked uneasily to the door. I slowly opened it and... Oh, oh, she's coming through. You look terrible. Thanks, Marky. I really needed your sternness right now. Uh, um... Oh god, he does look terrible. Oh, Shuichi, baby. I'm... Oh. Marky. Hey. Go take a shower or something. You need to help your face. I'll be in the dining hall with everyone else. Uh -huh. Everyone? Okay. I'll be waiting, so hurry up. Marky spoke curtly and left. Everyone is waiting in the dining hall? Uh, um... I guess I should go. I hurried and took a hot shower, then left my room. Are we going to walk there? I guess so. Um, anyone out and about? Does, it doesn't look like it. I guess. <laughs> Marky did say everyone was going to be there. Um, thanks again, Miss Lomarky. And I, I, I do see you're at least up and at him. Um, I, 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 don't, I don't really know what else to say. Um, everything's pretty, pretty terrible right now, so... Yeah. 
How's everyone doing? We're all alive. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we don't have Kaito. Yeah. Everyone was in the dining hall. Besides Kokichi and Kaito. But mentally, they weren't really there. The life had gone out of their eyes. And everyone here looks terrible. Really? Even I look terrible? Well, your face always looks like that. Himiko, now's not the time to sass him! What are we talking about? Oh god, you do look quite bad. Hey, Samugi. Oh, we're discussing how you want to die, right? Oh god. Oh! What? I want to go without suffering. Maki, can you do something about that? Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Sure, but before that, take a look at this. Oh my god. Maki, no! Is that a flashback light? Oh no! I don't. Hmm. I don't. Do we want to see this? Do we want to see this? Ugh. I mean, it's something at least. Even in such a dire situation, robophobia still persists. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Flashback light. But now that we've learned everything, there's no point to it. Well, I mean, oh, don't stop me. I just want to die. Tenko probably wouldn't be mad if I chose to die in this situation. Oh. Oh. I am in agony. This this hurts more than anything else. I'm not even crying, but this hurts. This hurts so bad. All my babies, no. Hurt to spend. You know what? It hurts even more because best boy and best girl want to die. That's it's not. That's it's not it, Chief. I ain't. I ain't satisfied. Maki, why do you have that? It was on top of the table when I went to the dining hall this morning. It was just sitting there? Uncle Kichi probably just put it there. Well to confirm the truth. The truth, perhaps. If we use that flashback light, we may recover memories that corroborate his story. Also, we're supposed to use the flashback light to confirm the truth Kokichi told us. We don't need to confirm anything. We saw the outside world for ourselves. Do you want to die comfortably? I can help you, but we should check this flashback light first. What? Well, why do we have to do that? It's the only thing we can do right now. She's right. It's all. <laughs> it's weird to say this. It's it's weirdly sweet that she's willing to um to help people go out peacefully. That's really it's really weird that that's sweet because it, it it shouldn't be at all. And honestly, I, I'm I'm sure Marky would probably be a, a little bit torn up about killing her friends like that. But you know. It, it's sweet in its own way. But also, yeah, she's right. This, you, you, this is the only thing you can really do uh, aside from just die, I guess. If we're going to die, then we might as well do anything we can. I'll have no regrets that way. Yeah. That's right. And even if it is dangerous, it wouldn't matter anymore, right? Either way. There's nothing for us to lose. We don't have any hope left. So let's do what we can. Dad, 
dare I say, very Kaito of you, Marky. Very Kaito of you. Well, okay. Things won't end up any worse than they already are. So when you kill me, will it be like I'm falling asleep? It's decided. Sorry, I can't go. Kimiko! Kimiko! Kibo and Shuichi, are you finally back? Yes. Very well, then. Yeah. And thus it was decided fairly painlessly. A flashback light suddenly appeared. Nothing could be more obvious and suspicious. But because our spirits were already broken, we had nothing to lose anyway. Okay, I'm going to turn it on. Marky switched on the flashback light. And at that moment, the world flipped upside down, turned inside out. Yeah, I saw that. You know, at first I was like, hmm, Hope's Peak? Did it just say that? And then I saw the biggest, most tragic, biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Oh, you better not. Game, you better fucking not. That, that's it. I remember. Everything is connected and we have forgotten we had forgotten that everything is connected are oh, you better not <laughs> it all started at that academy dan dan rampa fuck oh you played me for a fool it is connected oh you son of a bitch team dangan romper you fucking assholes oh i can't wow they lied to me Twice, might I add, in marketing. Very fitting for this game. I can't... You, you fucking bastards. I thought I'd escape this place! <laughs> oh. Oh, my God. Oh, you son of a bitch. It's all connected to that academy. A government-backed school that nurtured the most talented students in various subjects. Hope's Peak Academy. And that event that tore that school apart changed the world. Oh, God. You know what this means? Oh, Junko could be the mastermind. Oh, no! Oh, you better fight. You better not, game. You better not. <laughs> oh, and here it is. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Oh, it's all, it's all here. It triggered a wave of terrorism and war across the world. Humanity's true despair. Half the world was destroyed as a result of the terrible violence. Ah, there we go. That's like, what do you know? It's taken us this long to get like an actual statement on that because yeah it wasn't like a oh my god the entire world has fallen it's only like yeah some of it well uh, yeah i'll okay, well, thank you game <laughs> i'm so glad v3 the game that happened after everything took place apparently has uh has finally cleared up this giant bullshit piece of nonsense that junko told us back in danganronpa 1 but i mean sure i knew was 
uh, nonsense, but still. And that tragedy was caused by a single high school girl. Well, two, actually. With a little help from Meteorai. Technically with a little help from Juzo. Accidentally. So, I, you know. And don't forget the re- There, fuck you. <laughs> the ultimate despair, Junko and Ashima. She used whatever means necessary to paint the world in despair. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Oh, my God. To think, like, six months ago, nearly, I saw this for the first time. Look at them. And look at how many of them are dead now. Oh. The killing game of the 78th class of Hope's Peak Academy was the same way. Trapped by the ultimate despair. Forced into a killing game. But after Junko Enoshima died, the case was closed and the world began to slowly recover. Well, I don't think we've seen this before. But Junko's disciples, the remnants of despair, weren't, weren't done so in chaos. The Fuji Foundation fought against them, trying to restore order. The war between hope and despair grew more and more extreme. The fight raged on, but came to a sudden end. Came to a sudden end with an anime that a lot of people don't like. And right then... It was from then on that we remembered. It was the beginning of our truth! One day, terrible despair suddenly rained from the sky. A countless number of meteorites fell upon the world, carrying an unknown virus. Emboldened by the overwhelming despair, the remnants cried, Humanity deserves damnation. Oh, these guys are remnants of... Ah, well, I mean, they're not, you know, they're not the remnants as we know them. You know, I, I, I don't remember a uh, guy in kind of purple, I guess, lavender hoodie being in Danganronpa 2. So I, I guess they're more so the, the guys with the Monokuma he heads on, which we've never seen outside of, like, Juko being like, hey, they exist, but sure. I mean, sure, the Monokuma children exist, but very different situation. The Future Foundation was overwhelmed by the renewed despair and quickly lost influence. Oh! Oh, dear! But then... Makoto Naegi! <sighs> Together with the former members of the Future Foundation, started the Gopher Project at Hope's Peak Academy! Oh my god, so this really, this really fucking picks off right where the anime ends. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it either. Pretty sure I died. <laughs> glorious line. <laughs> only genius can overcome nature, and only hope can overcome despair. Our young geniuses must escape this earth to become the seeds of the future. That is the only hope for humanity. With those principles, the Gopher Project began, and 16 Hope's Peak students were selected. We were those 16 students. That's it. We weren't all attending different high schools. We were all attending the rebuilt Hope's Peak Academy. We were the students that applied after learning Hope's Peak was rebuilt. And the new Hope's Peak was like the last in that it accepted applications for talented students and cultivated ultimate talents. Hope's Peak Academy was a large school, so we were all in separate classes. But we were all students of Hope's Peak Academy. Really? Makoto had the star? Oh. Alright, sure. I'll believe it. From the candidates, the 16 of us were selected for the Gopher Project because... No, we weren't selected. We were the only ones left. That explains the robot and lesbian. Yeah, that, yeah, that explains it. The mysterious virus from the meteorites had spread rapidly around the world. <laughs> virus detected. 
Uh, yeah, all right. I mean, you could put that in like bolder letters, you know. The entire world was on the brink of extinction. Hope had almost triumphed. The cruel despair came roaring back to overtake the world. And for once, it wasn't Junko's fault. It was just nature. <laughs> oh, yeah, nature, righting the wrongs of the world. <laughs> Erasing the trash of Danganronpa. Oh, disgusting. God, Danganronpa does make me want to throw up sometimes. You know what I mean? <laughs> Oh, I'm joking. I love these. I love these games. They're so stupid sometimes, and I love them. Wait, is that Phoenix Wright in the background there? He slicked his hair down, but I see him. Blue suit, kind of pinky red tie, black hair. I see him right there. But we just happen to be immune to the virus. I just something just clicked in my head. I think Kaito has the virus. Oh no! Oh no! I don't. I don't think we've heard anything about this virus up till now, right? Did we? I. I kind of forget. They might have like briefly mentioned it. I. I, I don't think there was anything specifically mentioned about it. It was just like, ah, oh, the meteorites were pretty. T I, they might have mentioned that the meteorites brought an illness with them. I genuinely don't remember if they brought that up. I, so I obviously we haven't seen those CGs of. Everyone dying before, I don't think. Um, yeah, fuck. I think Kaito might have that virus. I mean, illness, right? That would also explain, like, how he could, like, pass his astronaut exams and yet still be, like, terminally ill. Because, like, he did pass it and then he contracted it, like, later on. Which also means that we aren't immune! Oh. Kaito, did you forge documents again? You bastard. <laughs> That's why we were chosen for the Gopher Project. I forget if I read that or not. I finally remembered. Oh. I saw that shot from the beginning of Danganronpa 2 with everyone in their swimsuits. Well, school swimsuits. That world, this world, it's all connected. I can't believe this. Everyone! Did you all remember that? I can't believe this This is a sequel! Oh, I should have known. I mean, it's really weird to end your franchise on a standalone game, right? But... God damn it. <laughs> Ow. I've been played! I should have... I should have figured that out. Yes. yes, I can vividly recall everything now. Yeah. Why? How could we forget something so important? Yeah. We were students of Hope's Peak Academy. We were the symbols of hope entrusted with the survival of humanity. Okay. Except for one person. Kokichi Oma, the mastermind behind this killing game. His organization's real identity. Wait! He's a remnant of despair? I that just clocked. He's a remnant of despair. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I can see it though. <laughs> oh my god! Kokichi! Oh, you, you absolute ass wipe. That's right. The cult organization helped destroy the Gopher Project. If Kokichi is the leader, that means he controls the remnants of despair. Out of all of us, he is the closest to ultimate despair. Oh, well, that's putting it mildly. Fuck, I want to punt him. It's so obvious. The killing game, I Oh god, what a burp. A killing game like this could only be done by the remnants of despair. Last trial, Onatuma, students of Hope's Peak Academy, all just like Junko and Oshima's team. 
Yeah, with a little, uh, little extra twists and turns in there, sure. <laughs> Dung and Romper fandom quivers in the corner. <laughs> you know, because a lot of people really like Junko. So, you know, maybe, maybe they would. Yeah. Get, get, joke, joke work, joke work, joke explained. Nice. Which means that this killing game is just like the one that came before. It's a battle between hope and despair. God damn it. <laughs> I thought we were done with you. But I see hope and despair is back. Back to ruin these words even more. A killing game that mires hope in dark despair. Wait, hold on. Wait, this is such an important killing game. Then why did Kokichi abandon it? That's also something the remnants of despair would do. They admire Junko and Ashima, right? He made an elaborate plan to cause us to despair, but he got bored of that plan. Wanting to feel the despair of your plan being ruined, and that's the ultimate despair for you. Hmm. What's wrong, Marky? Nothing. I'm just not convinced. Yeah, I mean, I was certainly feeling that with Kokichi, but I mean, it's tricky to question flashback lights, right? Because, like, by question one, I've got to question all of them. So, I, mm, it's, okay. it's probably fine, though. It's not a big deal. No, Marky, tell us, otherwise it's going to be a very big deal later. Uh, okay. oh, are you sure? We finally, we finally learned the truth. No, we still can't do anything. Even if we get out of this academy, the outside world is still destroyed. There's no hope left for us. Everyone. No! We just need to become that hope. Huh? Well, what's with you all of a sudden? If all hope is lost, then it's up to us to become that hope. After all, we're students of Hope's Peak Academy, aren't we? We're all that's left of the 16 who, who survived the battle between hope and despair. If we give up now, everyone who fought on the side of hope will have fought for nothing. Fought for nothing? That's... What my inner voice is telling me, that no matter what, I cannot abandon hope. I cannot give up. Yes, that's what it's urging me to do. So I will not despair. Even if it's only a little, I will move forward with hope. Kibo. Right now, there is no use in thinking about whether our lives have meaning or not. Because as long as we're alive, we still have the power to decide that meaning for ourselves. All right, Monokuma. Uh, Monokuma Theatre. That's what I believe hope is. That's what hope is. I see. Yeah, you're right. We're the students of the new Hope's Peak Academy, rebuilt as the symbol of hope. If we, the students of Hope's Peak Academy, give up, the world really will be plunged into despair. You're right. I got it. In the end, it's all about willpower. I'm gonna live till the end and never give up. I'm never gonna give you up, Hope. I'm never gonna let you down. I'm never gonna run around or desert you. We won't be able to do anything in that destroyed world. But making the impossible possible is what magic is all about. I stole that one. <laughs> Sorry, Kaito. It's a pain, but it'll be worth it. I'll live. I'll live for a hundred million more years. You guys. You're right. Let's do it. Let's fight together against despair. Yes, as long as we stand together without giving in to despair, we will find a new hope. We all stood in unison. We each felt the power of hope coursing through us, driving our bodies. The hope born in this academy, a tree of life with roots deep down, or down deep, even, was supporting each and every one of us. Yeah. Yeah. Motivation is rushing through my entire body. <laughs> this is the power of hope. 
Don't you look like that? You sound less like a mage and more like a wicked witch. <laughs> Kokichi may have left that flashback light to make us give up. But if that was his plan, it failed. It's true. It does seem as though Kokichi's plan went wrong somewhere. The only person who can give us flashback lights is Kokichi. Uh, so what's our plan now? What are we going to do about Kokichi? We got to stop you-know-who. Ah, that's another Harry Potter reference. The remnant of despair. What this despair will never end. We have to. Oh, she's smiling. Ah! <laughs> oh. A smile that melts my heart in the best possible way. We have to save Kaito, too. You're right. Yeah, of course. You're so stupidly positive. He's just the kind of guy you need in a time like this. That's right. I, I guess he, he didn't see the flashback light, but that's okay. <laughs> With Kaito by our side encouraging us, and even if we are the only people left, I think we can still find a new hope. Yeah, that's exactly right. I know that even in a situation like this, he'd think of something. And the problem is, where are Kokichi and Kaito? Well, I mean, they're in the hangar, aren't they? Well, maybe not Kokichi, but Kaito's in the hangar, right? They're in the Exosaur hangar. Uh, both of them? Kokichi did say that Kaito would be trapped there, but... By chance, I happened to see Kokichi leaving the hangar during nighttime yesterday. What? By chance? Really? I bet the truth is you were watching, you were worried about Kaito, and we're watching the hangar all day. Uh, 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 uh. I fucking love her. She's so, she's so cute. Oh my god. God damn, I, I really turned around on you, eh, Marky? Like right at the beginning, I, I just thought you were a colossal bitch. Cute, but a colossal bitch. And now you're like one of my favorites. I, uh. I love her. Oh, she's so good. I love her. <laughs> Looks like that was the case. It seemed like I was worried about Kaito or anything, Barker. <laughs> oh, I think that's the most sin line she's ever said. I just had nothing else to do. And so I'm used to watching others, so it wasn't any trouble. It's important for assassins to watch their targets and the ways to kill them. Oh, stop, stop. You're getting all mushy, but you wanted to make it all bloody instead. 100%. She's just deflecting, Himiko. It's fine. <sighs> we know they're in the hangar now. We know they're in the hangar, but how do we get them out? The, the hangar has an alarm system that will go off if anyone approaches the shutter. On top of that, Kokiji has the alarm remote key to shut off that alarm system. And there's also an electric barrier, right? You'd need to do something about that, too. Yes, but even approaching the control panel will set off the alarm, too. Mm. Yeah, so many problems right from the start. What should we do? Um, I mean, electro hammers, maybe? We'll be fine. I think I know how to stop the alarm system and the electric barrier. Does she have an idea? Well, let's hear it, Marky. And then I guess we'll end the episode. Not we hear your idea. Kokichi. <laughs> Kokichi. I will not let Kokichi's despair win in the end. As students of Hope Speak Academy, we must unite and fight back against despair. Yeah, it sure is our solemn duty. How did I forget I was a student of Hope Speak Academy? I suspect that Kokichi was very deliberate about erasing our memories. Because we've gained newfound power now that we remember Hope's Peak Academy. Right. Mm, Kokichi was afraid of us awakening the power of hope. Yeah! yeah. Let's do it, Shuichi! Let's rescue Kaito and stop Kokichi! You know, as great as this is, someone's still gonna die! I, and that's not... If we don't stop Kokichi, a remnant of despair, then this despair will never end. But something like that would be a cinch for my magic. It's overflowing with hope. After you've undone the alarm system and electric barrier, 
then leave it to me. Okay, I was gonna say this for the end of the episode, but I'm gonna say it now, right? Like, I don't think this is what Marky was talking about, because obviously she doesn't have the hindsight of playing all the other games. But we've, we've said hope and despair a lot. And obviously, like, you know, I said this earlier, we've sort of saved it until now. And Frank, I, I also said earlier that, you know, just the words hope and despair have been permanently ruined. But they're saying it so much. It, it feels beyond self-parody. Something's, something's wrong. Something is definitely wrong. And I'm not, I don't know what it is, but I feel like that's leading up to something, you know? I, 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 I just have this gut feeling, you know? Well, I mean, we'll, we'll see, I suppose, but I, uh, it, it just feels kind of wrong. I, I don't know, maybe it's just because I've had this game not bring it all up for so long that it feels wrong, but I don't know. I don't know, something's up. Also the fact that the, you know, if what Koki, you know, Kokichi left it here to confirm everything for us, it didn't actually confirm that he was the mastermind, I noticed. Like that's just something we've had to take his, him on his word on, nor did it confirm that he is 100% a remnant of despair. So like, uh, I, I don't know, something's up. Something's definitely up. How did you plan to get past the alarm system and barrier? With the electro hammer, obviously dipshit. It's the exact same barrier we used to get outside. Fucking idiot. <laughs> oh, Marky, please! <laughs> Insult me harder. What? Uh, nothing. If you hit the control panel with it, it should disable the electric barrier. We did the same thing to the electronic lock on the exit to the outside world. But it, it won't work the same way on the alarm system, will it? The alarm will go off before we can even get close enough to use the electro hammer. Oh, hello. Then we'll use this. Uh, is that? <laughs> it's not exactly a bomb, though. Even if it is called an electro bomb. It jams electronic signals by scattering particles that interfere with electromagnetic waves. For two hours, any and all electronic devices within 50 yards will be completely disabled. It's perfect for any secret activities, too, since it doesn't leave any debris behind. This invention is extraordinary, but I only have three of them. So I need to use them carefully. You guys will have to settle for the electro hammers. But why do you have that, Maki? There are only three, and I thought Kokichi had them. I stole it from his pocket. <laughs> nice. Okay. During that time. Yeah. yeah. As expected, your kleptomania and terrifying glare are both first class. How dare you? Oh, the terrifying glare part was a joke. Oh, can you stop glaring at me so terrifyingly, please? <laughs> Oh my god, I love how awkward Himiko is. I, lo I love how- I love it. Like, she- it's almost like she's trying too hard, you know? You know, like, with, with what she said to Kibo earlier about his face always being the same, and quipping about Maki being insane, pretty much. She's- I feel like she's trying a little too hard to, like, be funny. Like with the, um, the, uh, tree trunk dick line, you know? And she, I feel like she's just trying so hard and it's not working and it's super fucking cute. Nice work, Marky. We can use that electro bomb to get inside the hangar. Not only that, it will disable all communication. Okay. That should include the remote control Kokichi uses for the exosaurus. If we use the electro bomb in front of the shutter, it should affect the entire hangar. <laughs> then Kokichi will be good as butt naked. All he'll be able to do is hold his crutch and run. All right, Miyu, calm down. <laughs> Nobody might still be in control of the next of an exosaur from inside. Oh 
butt naked. No, I'm pretty sure he'll be clothed. Unless, well, unless he's a robot too. Or he's wearing like a mech suit, which I guess is what an exosol is. Never mind. Then we should bring the electro hammers as a precaution against the exosols. Yeah. Dang. I just left mine sitting around without charging it. Sorry. Uh, sorry, but I did too. It takes 24 hours to charge an electro hammer, so we'll have to wait until tomorrow morning. Gonna wait until tomorrow morning? What about the hammer? Um, we don't really have a choice, do we? Without the electro hammers, it's impossible. Uh, Marky, I know that you don't want to wait a single minute more than necessary, but we shouldn't try this until tomorrow, when everyone is ready. Mm. That's true. Fine, that's what we'll do then. This time we'll definitely kill him. Kill? Wait. No, Marky, you can't. Even if he's a remnant of despair, that doesn't... But if we kill him, then everything will end. We have no other choice. For that reason, I will kill him. But you can't! I understand how you feel, Marky. But we'd feel bad after we killed him. Because we're good people and he's a bad guy. So he wouldn't, but we would. It would be no different than the killing game that has caused us so much suffering. Yeah! yeah. That's the sort of thing the remnants of despair or Kira would do. Okay. okay. But Kaido said that killing is wrong, remember? Killing bad, Maki! <laughs> so we can't. Oh, just a pouty face. Okay, okay. Fine. Everyone thinks that way, then I'll listen to you guys. But if it seems like anything dangerous is going to happen, then I'll definitely kill him. Uh, wow! Maki's actually reliable? Of course she is! She's one of the most reliable people here. No, she's dangerous. There's nothing more dangerous than a heated Maki roll. <laughs> Get it? It's a pun. And also in line with me trying a little too hard. If a Maki roll gets too heated, you could burn your tongue. How dare you? <laughs> Did you see those eyes? They were like a predator looking at its prey. Why is everything I'm saying potentially sexual? I mean, it's not, but you could misconstrue it that way. Am I really just me, you too? As in the sequel, not T.O.O.? Uh, you may have deserved that, Himiko. <laughs> but it's true that this is quite unexpected. I didn't think we'd be able to stand together as one again. It's thanks to Maki, which is why she's second best girl. Sorry, Maki. While we were sedentary, feeling sorry for ourselves, she was planning. I suppose it might also be thanks to Kaito. Because Kaito was worried about her, she promised to work hard to do her best. And of course, if I pointed that out, she'd ask me if I wanted to die again. What are you looking at? Oh, just how much, at how much you've changed, Marky. We love you. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Okay. Let's do our best. And the three of us can train together again. Okay. Yeah, right. We finalize our plan to get into the Exosol hangar tomorrow morning. Until then, we wait for the Electro Hammers to recharge and finish preparations. We split up, focused and determined. Oh, man. Feels good. First, we need to charge the electro hammer. But I shouldn't just stand around waiting. I need to make up for lost time. It has to be something I can do. Nice job, Mr. Ultimate Detective. It was a wise call, Shuichi. But your talent is useless now. In the mystery of the killing game, the secret of the outside world, the mastermind's identity. They're all solved. We don't need a detective anymore. This is the true ending. No, that's not true. The 
There has to be something I can do. Right. I should scout the area. It would be a good idea to check out the scene before we execute the plan. And I'm, I'm worried about Kaito. He's hurt and he's sick. Potentially with a virus, it's gonna kill us all. I'm so I'm sure he doesn't want me to worry about him, but I have to. Okay. Alright, I'll go. Oh baby! Oh god, that was two doozies of episodes in a row. Fucking hell, man. But uh I mean as 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 up as something is, I'm also quite excited. Like, oh we're getting into the good shit. Oh, it's all gonna come crumbling down when someone inevitably dies, but oh it feels good. Right now, anyway. It'll feel better in chapter six, where you know, we rise up from our pit of despair and we're like, ah. Oh, Everything sucks, but we're gonna make it good again. And then in the trial, like someone's like, oh, presumably the mastermind, but I mean, that might be Kokichi, it might not be. Or like, ha, well, actually, I kind of lied this whole time. Here's the real truth. And then we're like, oh, this is even worse. Oh, the despair. And then Shuichi says something, and it's like, no, this is. Not actually despair, because we can flip it around and it's hope, and we're like, oh yeah, and then the mastermind's like, oh no, and the mastermind dies, and then we're like, yeah, and then it rolls the credits, and we're all hopeful, and everything's good, and we all live happily ever after, even though everything's terrible. Does that sum it up right? <laughs> How many things did I just get right about the ending? Don't tell me. I, w I mean, I already have finished it, but, you know, just in case anyone else is watching this blind, don't tell me how much I got right. <laughs> but still, this is the end of the episode. Uh, if you watched this far, uh, thank you. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you like, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Da -da 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 -da. And I'll see you in the next one. Um... I don't know if next chapter will be, not chapter, next episode will be the murder. Uh, I genuinely, I, I feel like it might be. Um, so we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Um, yeah, see you guys in the next one. And until then, goodbye.